Hi, welcome back to Christine Truths on Rose. In this episode, I want to share the new member of my Reborn collection. I might have had this baby in one of my videos before, but since my box opening did not work, because I did make a, probably about two or three videos of box opening, but all of these did not go through it. It did not work. Um, I'm going to do another video to welcome this new baby in my collection. And yes, I finally did pick a name for this baby. Um, so let's get started. Um, I had this baby for two weeks. Today is the second week, so 14 days today. Um, so for we're not going to go through any clothes or anything like that with it, like an actual real box open, because I put everything away already. So, um, with that being said, I'm then describe what he looks like, show you what he looks like, and stuff like that. So you can tell it's already a boy, by the way I said he. I don't have any girl babies in my collection anymore, so, you know, clothes have to be sorted out and everything. And here are the noises in the background. It'd be my puppy. My puppy's playing beside me with her toy so she might hop up on me and stuff and like that because she likes to check on me and stuff so anyways let's get started so this baby is does look a little different so here's the baby's hands this, this is the right hand of the baby the baby's right hand could tell between mine and the babies. Baby is a little darker. And here's the face. And I go to the left because of the way I'm holding the baby. Oops, there you go. It's okay, boy. He did come with quite a bit of clothes. I would like to get a little bit more because he doesn't have anything for summer or anything. Nothing, you know, too dressy for winter for church or anything like that. It's more like nightwear I was taking with. So, you know, nothing for, you know, things that I actually really go and do. So, you know, I would like to get, you know, a couple more clothes in. Anyway. This is Faith. He's a sleeping baby. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit so I can not just see him. There we go. So he's a sleeping baby. And I do have his card put away. I forget what kind of sculpt he is, but without looking at his card, but his card's put away safely right now with this clothes and stuff. And then there's his other hand. He's a full body silicone, exactly what I've been looking for for a long, long time. And he's a lot more than five pounds. Like my real re, re, blah, reborn, real care baby and is five to seven pounds and he's heavier than her. So I'll probably say he's about 10 to 20 pounds, I'm taking a guess on his weight. Because his head is the most heaviest part of his whole body, and that's why I like to rest him. So, but he's very long, too. So, this is my new baby. He's two weeks old. So yeah, he's a full by cell phone. I'm gonna do a short. So yeah, as you can see, okay, yeah, was just like. And 
with that name, the baby, it's Michael. Same as my other cell phone baby was. Everybody that I knew thought that Michael would be a good name for him. He looked like a Michael and everything. So, um, unfortunately, that's what the name went with, was Michael. I was thinking of one other name, but everyone voted on Michael. And the spelling I picked was M-I-K-E-L for Michael. The same way as I had my other reborn's name. So it's the same spelling, same name as, as my other, other baby boy. And it probably would be the same name if I did have a real child. It'd be Valentine's Michael. Michael be the middle name probably. If we had a child, because the first name would be round times and times for short. But we already agree round times would be the first name of a real child, and Michael would be the middle name. So, unfortunately, that's what we named, that's what I named him. And he did come with. Probably a handful of clothes, you know, not like a bunch, which I don't want, you know, don't need a lot. He came, he came with this, a bathroom, which, which was very good. I'm very thankful for the kind of clothes and everything he had. He had a couple of toys and he plays with those toys, I tell you. He loves the toys that he had. More like, uh, I think it was an elephant and he could put his sucky on top of it. Hold sucky, so it's more like a sucky holder than toy two and one. Um, actually, I haven't seen him play with that for a while, but he was playing with that first. Um, when we went out, he had it in his hands, and yeah, yeah. Um, the one problem is the puppy does not really get along with the baby. And so the only problem we're having right now is the puppy here does not get along too well with the baby. Oh, Dizzy. So, I gotta really pay attention to both of them at the same time. Yeah, I got a newborn here, and I got a puppy here. And both got to pay attention to both. Um, today I was supposed to go out um, for Halloween night. Of course, Halloween's not until next week, but we're celebrating Halloween tonight. Um, <laughs> and I do have the puppy in and Michael here. Um, Michael probably in one of those carriers on me, probably. Um, I do get quite a bit of comments the last few days that I had him out, saying, Oh, what a cute baby you have. And of course, uh, usually I say thank you, and I keep on going. Um, a couple people have touched his head, but... Um, I only have one bad comment, and I think I made a video with that one when it really upset me big time. And it's a very rude comment, like, when they call me a name. And I think I made that video four days ago, I think. But yeah, yeah, Michael's my new baby. Um, I got him two weeks ago. I don't know why my box of bean did not go through with them. When I first got them, I was so excited. Very, very excited. I could not wait till I got them open and, and hold them and everything in my arms. He's been doing a lot. I've been having him in my arms a lot. It's been hard with the puppy though, but, um, you know, I've been spending as much time as possible with him.
Yes, see if we went for a walk. See us in the Doomba stroller. And so we were we went to Pet Smart together. He was in the stroller. My puppy was on the leash beside the stroller. And we walked to Pet Smart. Um so yeah, that's all we got here. You get to go with me. And he had his very first bath as well. With me. I might have to put a little bit more baby powder on before we leave, but yeah, probably put a little bit more powder on his head. And I'm really thinking about, it'll be a little while now because my mic's kind of tight, but I'm really thinking about putting hair on him. Black hair. So I'm going to talk to the artist and see how much that would cost to put black hair on him. And I did talk to my family and they said it should be okay, but I got to see, stop spending money on this little puppy first. So it probably might not be until next year, probably. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm really thinking about getting money, getting um, black hair. So yeah, so thanks for watching. I just wanted to give you an update that I have a new report in my collection. This is the only reborn I have in my collection at that time because Elsa and Grace are already packed up as I said before that I saw in my videos that I packed them up there. Let's say that I packed them up to go to a new family. The new family canceled on me and changed their mind as we are driving and we're about five minutes away from the house. They said, I'm sorry, but we don't want to. That was a five hour drive for me to get to their house and we were five minutes away from the house and they cancelled. That was a blank, we'll say, very upsetting to me because I had to pay over $200 in gas and it was a five hour drive for me, three to five hours, probably close to five and they cancelled. They canceled because I was running late. I was stuck in traffic. We were stuck in traffic for an hour or so. We couldn't help it being late. We I had no internet to contact them with because it's through Messenger. And I had no internet at the time. And I couldn't tell them that I was stuck in traffic and I'll be late. They canceled on me. Not to mention they gave me the wrong address. <laughs> so, it was a total mess. And they canceled on me. So now, I still have Elsa and Grace and my Ash and Drake, who were supposed to go to that one family that canceled on me. And then, today, I was supposed to go to another family but they never contacted to me where they want me to meet them. So I don't know if that family still wants them or not. <laughs> because the, the second family is about five hours away from me again. They said they will meet me halfway today. And they still have not let me know exactly what location they want me to meet them at. I don't know. I haven't heard from that second family in about four days. So I don't know what's going on. So I still have Aston and Drake. And I still have Elsa and Grace. They're in the box. Still wrapped up. So technically I'm still trying to sell those ones. So they're not technically in my collection. They're up for sale. If anyone wants some. I'll take in between. 300. To 900. 300 at the least, 900 at the most for all three. It depends if you want three of them or two of them or one of them. Depends on, you know, how much you want, how many BC you're looking for. Because all three of them is closer to 900. If you want one of them, it's closer to the 100. 
So it all depends on, you know, how much babies you want and which baby you're looking for. Because the one in the family is only one to one, so that's closer to the 100. Because that's in Drake, it doesn't cost that much. According to the research I've been doing. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. I just want to give you an update that I do have a new one in my collection. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!